Okay, here we go. We're here to talk about, once again, the LaserDisc player. And this time, after using it for a while and owning it, I don't even know how long I'd have to go back. I think it's been a couple of months now, or close to that. Let's just say that, for me, it's a different thing to use. It's not like when you use a DVD and stuff. You actually have somewhat fun using it. I don't, some people think it's boring because you have to keep flipping the disc every time. Unless you have one of those automatic um, reverse, whatever it's called, players. But um, I actually have fun. It makes you get up once in a while during a movie and actually move around. See, now, today I was using LaserDisc and I still lost a stand hour. But still, it's a fun thing to do. Um, I don't think some people will see it that way. But as you use a LaserDisc player, you might see that it's actually fun to switch the player around sometimes. Um, you do inc you do encounter some glitches with um qu uh, with loading the disc like a DVD player. Well, pretty much when you use DVD, they those skip all the time. But that only happened in one of my laser discs, and another one had a glitch at the end. The last couple of minutes, there was a line that went through the screen. But I think that had to do with the pressing of the disc. I don't think it had anything to do with the disc itself. Um. <sighs> Uh, what else did I want to add to it? And the final thing I wanted to say about this all is people want this immense quality out of watching LaserDisc. And it's something I just haven't been able to achieve no matter how hard I've tried. It's not a matter of not having the money. It's just a matter of being the, an expert in the business of LaserDisc. Not really the business, but you know what I mean. Um, I could never just get the picture right. Uh, I still to this day, I think it's a little off, but more than acceptable to watch. It looks very good. Um, then I started off with trying to plug it into the TV, which was the biggest mistake. Plugged it into a LaserDisc player. I don't actually know. I, after I plugged it into the TV, I plugged it into a 32-inch TV, which looked wonderful. Picture was excellent. But people say when you squeeze the image down to like 32 inches, the LaserDisc look wonderful. As soon as you start playing them on... 65 inch televisions and stuff things look worse After that I went to the converter to the TV which you know did upgrade the quality of the picture But made everything so super bright and washed out that I couldn't really watch the movie like that Then I switched to my projector both of my projectors the old one that still has probably a good 3500 hours left in it a little less than that in the new one they both play the um, laser disc player with pretty good quality. But like I said before, it just seems to me that it's a little a little off. I don't know what it is with the picture. It just seems to me that it's a little off to me. Maybe it's just I'm so used to watching these other people who upscale stuff all the time. Watching them upscale videos and stuff. It, it drives me nuts though because, you know, I actually prefer to watch it the way I am now. Just the original plug into the back of the projector and that's it. Enough with this upscaling, upgrading, whatever you want to call it. Because at the end of the day, you're not buying laser discs to make it look like a 720p Blu-ray or a 1080. You're, you're buying it because it's an older format. And in my opinion, it's right where it was. Pretty much, well no, it was before VHS I think. But when it comes to quality wise, it's in between VHS and um, DVD. Uh, some laser discs do look better t than others, but the way I have it set up, I don't think it's ever going to look like a DVD disc. And I don't care. It looks it's, a, it's fun to watch and play. The quality doesn't degrade on me like a VCR tape and all that other stuff. So if people have watched VHS for a long time in their life, they can deal with it. I know. When I was a kid, I used to watch VHS all the time. But now that um I have a laser disc, which is a little better, I can deal with it. Now, if it's someone today... Let's say 20 years old or something, they may not understand the point of watching laser disc or what it's about. Another thing is, is that laser discs just they're too hard to buy the plays. So many of them to buy, but you are even there's actually a ton of workable laser disc plays. It's just, do you want to buy a shitty one or do you want to buy a good one? Those are a couple difficult decisions you have to make. All right, bye bye.